Hello class, my name is Sherry LeBay. Uh, one adjective that would describe me, I would say is spiritual because I am a firm believer that without the high power, uh, nothing is possible. Um, I am currently a senior here at UNT Dallas. Uh, I am working towards a liberal arts and science degree uh, with a concentration in counseling. Um, <clears throat> what I hope to learn from this course is how the resource management process works. Uh, when you talk about management, uh, you're basically talking about how using resources to attain goals. Um, and so therefore I feel that would be good for me to to process and learn because there are many goals that I am trying to achieve. Uh, I would also like to learn, you know, the management process which requires me to think, you know, take action and ultimately get results. Um, what I plan to do after UNT is go to take do a program, a six month program to get my teaching uh, certification to teach elementary math. Uh, I, I, I love math and I've I've always wanted to teach math, you know. Um, I already have an associate's degree in accounting. Uh, that was my first career choice, but um, I don't know. I feel like I, something was pulling me towards... Uh, counseling and just you know helping families and helping people you know uh, find resources or how to utilize resources to help them manage or or just any situation that may occur you know because ultimately you never know what what's going to happen so I, I want to be able to guide them, you know, in in the right in the right way, uh, or shall I say, just be able to direct them to resources that they can utilize that will help them, you know, and and me be a part of the resource, you know. Um, I currently live. In Cedar Hill, um, I've been living out here for thirteen years. Thirteen years now. Uh, me and my wife been together out here for thirteen years. Uh, what I do, what I do when I'm offline, uh, what I do when I'm offline is I listen to music. I work for. Cedar Hill Healthcare Center, um, and as I said before, I listen to my music. I love music because I feel that music is soothing, soothing for the soul. Because there can be troubling moments, and you could just put on some music and just, just, just ride the beat and and feel the lyrics. You know, and, and I don't discriminate against any music because music is music to me. Okay, except for one, opera. I'm not too big on opera, but any genres of music, I, I just feel like if you could relate to that, it depending on the situation you're going through at that time. Okay, um, I also like. Basketball. Uh, I like playing basketball. I love sports. How about them Cowboys? Let's go. 
the season about to start. Um, I like playing video games. Uh, and mainly, I love spending time with my grandchildren. They are like the 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 beat to my drum. So I have let me get it right. <laughs> I have thirteen grandchildren. I am forty nine years old. I just turned forty nine on the twelfth of this month. Um, I have 14. I have two sons, two biological sons. One is 30 and one is 27. My oldest son has seven children and my youngest son has four children and I have two stepchildren. My stepdaughter has two sons. And of course, my 16 year old, he, he don't have any. He better not get that right now, no time soon. But my goal is to lay a foundation for my family and my grandchildren because they are growing up in a world today where everything is limited for them as far as they, they race. You know, uh, I don't feel it's being biased. It's just that looking at the world today and the world before today, the past that is, it, it's always been hard and limited for minorities. So, I want to be able to learn and be able to learn so that way I can teach them as they get older what resources they can utilize, what they what they have out here, that, that it is people that is out here that is willing to to be there but you got to have an open mind and you got to be acceptable to the help and you can't be afraid to ask for the help so this is what I want to teach them but um, other than that uh, I would like to welcome everyone and I look forward to interacting and uh, hopefully as the semester goes, we could learn from each other and learn from each other's experiences. And I'm, I would, would love to, uh, let me find the right word for it. I would love to uh, looking for the right word. <laughs> it's just, it ain't coming to me. But uh, I look forward. To, to reading all of you all, all of you all uh, posts and uh, until the next Zoom meeting mm -hmm. y'all have a great night thank you